Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the Group K round two match between Aresius and his lovely blue orcs and Serafino and his lovely red elves. Uh, very nicely painted teams here, wood elves. I can tell you how they both qualified. Um, Serafino is Italian and qualified via Wild Thing Studio, their Wild Cup. Aresius is Canadian and qualified via the BBQ World Championship qualifier. I assume that's Blood Bowl Quebec and not barbecue, but you know, you never know. Um, we can have a look at the table here. This was after one game, and oh, this hasn't updated, but Rock won his second game. So Rock's on four, Peaky Poos is on one, and then it's all to play for for Serafino and Aresius in this game. So um, I believe. The Wood Elves won the toss and chose to go on offense. I'm not sure though. He's got two wrestle. Oh, he's got a juggernaut. I don't remember this at all. Is this is this grab? Is, oh my god! Stop pressing things. Is this a grab tree? Oh yeah, he's he's gone one turn, hasn't he? He's, he's gone total one turn. Yeah, he's gone one turn skills. He's got grab, frenzy, sidestep. I do a oh, sprint. I thought it was sidestep for the whole game, but it's sprint. Yeah, he's, he's gone one turn package. Very uh, very all in on the one turn. Leader for the third reroll and an apo. Um, Serafino has gone for the troll and the goblin, no apo. So this is a pretty brittle orc team. Um, but you know, it's I guess it's got the max strength on the pitch, plus it has the one turn option, a couple of guards, a couple of blocks, yep, for the big ones, and a mighty blow and a tackle. Um, pretty standard, even though I'm not really a fan of the tacklers. Um, but there you go. Oh, he doesn't have a thrower, does he? He doesn't have a thrower, but still has to put a big one on the LOS. No, he does have a thrower. Oh, I remember this. He's got the he's got the massively customized thrower. It looks brilliant. Look how good this thrower looks. Incredible looking thrower. Makes him look like a blitzer almost, doesn't it? Really, really nice thrower. So I'll surely blitz this guy with mighty blow and then get the yeah, troll. Either 2D the tree or 3D this guy. But I mean the fact he's got these two in looks like he's gonna block the tree. a big line. He's built a wall and the woodies are going to play for it. Play for it? Yeah, that actually works out better, doesn't it? I like this. I like the red and... I like both of them. They're like kind of red and light grey, isn't it? Uh, blue and... Dark blue and light grey and then red and white. Very nice coloured teams. Nope. Yes, I mean, they're certainly going to try our Yeti. They're certainly going to try. Here we go. I like this. A bit of basing. Aggressive basing. That's the way to deal with them. Because he's daggering without the dacker. You'd think so, yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the orcs won the toss and chose to kick. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I did have it up, but yeah, you would think this, this is leaning heavily into the one turn, so yeah, you would think kick and uh, to make sure you've got the highest chance to have all of your one turning pieces 
alive for the one turn, yeah. Funnily enough, I think maybe um, Olivier Dulac, wow. So we did one into two rather than two into uphill. And uh, worked. Olivier Dulac is also quite one turn focused, right? With two side steps and a stand firm, he, he can stop one turns. And then with a frenzy and two side steps, he can score one turns. So. So Olivier Delac has gone very one turn focused with his build. So the Orcs got beaten off there, didn't they? Really? No no blocks back for this basing. You know, maybe it could have based better. And this is a funny thing, isn't it? Even with the tackle they're still gonna blitz with Mighty Blow. Because if he gets a knockdown, it's better. And he did get the knockdown. And Mighty Blow had no effect, but... Wow. Two dodges. Deep. On the tree with grab was able to, wouldn't have been able to block that right normally, but with grab he can block it. No problem. this as much as here like you've got to obviously defend against the surf but I feel like bracketing is better because so, he hasn't got dodge right so you know, make him 3 plus out it's a removal I broke AV once and uh, breaks AV again gets a stun on the tree no Oh, it was a stun on the it was a stun on the trot. Oh well. Dice. And the tree stands back up. And we get a very weak flank here. Incredibly easy to move downfield on turn five for Serafino. Gets to hit the defensive throw, an like, incredible target. Absolutely incredible target. the tackler. And somehow all of the orcs are isolated. That was a, I mean you have to say that was a terrible turn four for Aresius, wasn't it? Um, or a great turn five for Serafino, but it was pretty automatic, wasn't it? That that was just so weakly defended up the side there. That should be a successful drive. He's really got to work to get this back now. Um, Aresius. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. I'd have brought him back here, right? So he's kind of defended from just getting tagged. to dodge as well. gets to go for the sure hands guy would have loved to have taken him out on his own offense 
don't really like this formation when it could just be a uh, one in and it's just like better as now I think. Both of these guys. In fact, just the yeah, both of these could be there. I don't know if he could have got there safely or not, but if he could have done, then uh, obviously that's even better. Mighty blow hit gets the cars. Pause it. Huge. Hmm, I wonder what he's blitzing there. Is he blitzing the end guy? Blitzing him. I feel like if you're going to do that blitz, you're better off blitzing with a big one, right? And then you can just stand the big one in a square closer. Or on the ball. And standing here, I don't like as much as here or here. Turn seven. Gonna go in early. Yep. Always two two pluses to score. But it, it, there is a two turn chance for the Orcs, and they've got a chance with a throw, but obviously it's a very, very low chance. They've also got the Thrun Goblin, right, as an option. That's probably a pretty good option, throwing the Goblin, honestly. Seeing as their chance of two turning is so low. A Ficious Ref. Stuns a big un and stuns us lineman. Yeah, okay, good. He's, he was right to move that up there. Maybe he shouldn't have put the troll on the tree, right? Because he can't really stop the tree smashing him to bits. Maybe he should have put a lineman on the tree. There was nothing to the dancer. The pick up. Troll goes stupid. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, he's probably going to have a shot at this. Not a good shot, but probably a shot. Still got one reroll. An interesting one to blitz because, of course, he's got somebody in front, which is better, whereas he's only got someone at the side. I guess it was to, you know, have another player to do it, whereas this is two plus to bracket. Can also come around the side and put somebody else in front somehow. Oh. Screen him off. Smash the troll. So yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good defense from Serafino. Does get the power there? And gets the power there. And now this is going to be like a 6 plus pass or something. But with a reroll it's 30%, isn't it? And then catching it's going to be 75%. Oh, doesn't get the throw. Oof. Nearly, nearly scattered back to him. So yeah, not a, not a horrendous two-turn chance for the Orcs. But now only eight players for the Woodies to defend with. And they get a blitz, though. Well, good 
you know, basically the the most basic anti blitz setup there is, but it was good enough, wasn't it? Because they weren't uh, they weren't easy way through the centre. So good enough anti blitz. This troll absolutely determined to beat the tree. I guess he can hit with a he's gonna hit it with a block uh, a block big one, isn't he? Yeah, it goes for the 3D with him and the 2D with block. This is nice, isn't it? Getting to blitz him back into another hit. Didn't need to go all the way up there, but never mind. The extra hit pays off. And the block with block pays off. And if the tree stays down for a turn, you're really happy about this, aren't you, as the ox? There is a gaping hole to the ball, so I guess you have to go in for the one day hit here, right? <laughs> like, seeing as like, you've got no players and there's a gaping hole, yeah. <laughs> I can't say that was the best ball protection ever. To just leave a gaping hole. Oh my god, he gets KO'd as well. He literally took the guy who was blocking the path and then protected against this corner. Which, you know, wasn't easy to get to. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Stupid troll. Yeah, there's gonna say does the goblin hit him huge pow, absolutely mega pow. Freeze up both big ones. Means he gets to punch him back in the other, gets another huge pow. Wow. Bet Diamond wishes he could roll like that when he hits ball carriers. I guess you've got to dodge with a mighty blow, yeah. Do you foul with a big one? And he makes like an eye cage, yeah, extended eye cage. Works with guard. It works with anything, but with guard it's an uphill, so... And he can make it an uphill into a 1D. Gets the push. Rerolls the push. Gets a nothing. Honestly, if you're going to reroll the push there, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Should, like rolling two 2 pluses to make it a. Uphill in two seems better, doesn't it? If you're willing to reroll that one D, I think. I think then you go there first. Make it a one in an uphill in a two. Especially he's moved it there anyway. Yeah, I think you have to move it there first. Like I know, okay, you know, got a recovery or whatever if later, but I think just get it in there first. So you're making it an uphill in a two. Oh, cast. Not a pal. Not a pal. You can punch him behind and then dodge away, right? That's the play here. Doesn't need a pal in. Just dodges with a carrier. And then can foul the, the war dancer as well with a goblin. Wait, had he moved the tackler? Oh god, wait. Yeah, he'd moved the tackler. The goblin could just go up one, right? I feel like it's much better for the goblin to go up one than not. Maybe it isn't actually. 
No, it's got to be better. Yeah, it's got to be better for the Goblin to be there. Dodges in, strips him. Oh, didn't follow. Got the scatter back to where it was. Running out of L's a little bit, isn't he? Here. Down to seven. Well, six plus a tree. All of them behind the ball. Can actually chain them both off now, can't he? Just by powering this guy and he's got strength four there. So he can just he can just instantly blitz it off. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake, I guess, having that guy there. Makes the pick up. Runs away. <laughs> Oh, the goblin commits a doku. But yeah, all the all the all the elves behind the ball make these a lot of dice rolls now. A three plus without a dodge to start the turn. He jumps on a three rather than a four with dodge. Because he was willing to put in the rerolls to get this. It's the pow. This other dancer is the one we're going to try and run around and get there. Oh, he goes for the uphill with wrestle rather than the dodge, which if you put in a reroll is better. So that was absolutely the correct thing to do. This is what a crazy game. What a crazy game. The orcs just having to just potato away. And the elves try and desperately get somebody up as they lose players. A pretty cool, a pretty cool orcs versus elves game, to be fair. Rooted tree really helps here, doesn't he? You can have a pretty strong cage. Tackle does a thing. Doesn't power him. Oh, I thought maybe he would have. Uh... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. It is an ice cream, yeah. I didn't know if he'd be able to hear that or not. Yeah. I think it's pretty loud, to be fair. Oh! He just won. He... Wait. He uphilled. Yeah, this was an uphill. So he obviously took the ball down, wrestles him. If it had been a push, he would have had a uh, 1D on the ball. Instead he blitzes this random fella. The problem here is, like, you know, I don't think you're going to stop them scoring. I think you have to turn over. I don't, like, you know, I don't think you can you can screen with two players. <laughs> I know that's a hot take, but um, you really have to get. Uh, oh my goodness! There's a Kaz. I've got no idea. I don't go to an ice cream van. I just hear it. I stopped going to ice cream vans when I was a child. <laughs> Not to uh, not to be rude to anybody who still does go to ice cream vans, but no, I don't. I don't know. I've got no idea what this are. Huge Kaz and stunt. Yep. Yeah, I mean, when there's no elves left, that is when it's over. And now there's pretty much no elves left. I used to love 99s, oh my god. I used to love 99s. When, again, when I was a child. 
<laughs> hey, even when I used to leave the house, I didn't go to ice cream vans. But, yeah, that does make it harder, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, this is over. Well, it's not over. It's not over. Because there could be a one turn chance. Obviously, the drive is over. But, um. We've got a grab tree. Don't have a frenzy dancer. Might have a sprint catcher. So. It's funny, isn't it, that somebody spending one of their limited skill slots on a sprint catcher when they used to just have it for free on every catcher? Shows how good that was to have. Can he get there? No. Two assists foul. What? Oh no, is he already stunned? No, he would foul him. You've got a goblin and everything. Okay, no need to if he's just gonna skull and KO himself. No problem. Easy tutty. Pretty mad that he left a pretty easy sack, yeah. Right, one turn chance. Oh my god, he's got a tight LOS. How many players does he have? Five. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think we'll see it. I don't think we'll see a one turn, but we might see a riot. No. If he'd had eight players, I mean, maybe he wouldn't have set up in a tight LOS. But he could have probably done it with eight players, right? Random foul. <laughs> and there we go. That is the match over a 1 1 result between Aresius and Serafino. Um, oh, actually, if you bear with me, I can probably show you the table afterwards. Um, I didn't think of that until until we'd already started. So there you go. GG to both. And, um, yep. <laughs> there was a bit wild wasn't it I feel like the elves might feel a little bit hard done by there they had a lot of hits at the ball and uh, couldn't get the job done could they and then just took loads of cars but what can you do um, so there you go that is the table now Rock has a win and a draw Serafino and Aresius both on two draws. So it's still it's still pretty open the group, isn't it? Um, but Aresius to qualify is probably going to have to win, right? I guess he could win and Serafino could win. Uh, sorry, draw. He could draw and Serafino could draw, but Aresius draws 2-2 two, two, or 3-3. Three, three. So like it's this kind of a this kind of some this kind of some scenarios, but it's it's looking like obviously Rock is pretty favoured to qualify, and uh, you know with the fact that he's in that position, I don't know, I don't know, he's not like if he loses, he doesn't qualify probably, does he? Well, maybe not. Who knows? Anything could happen. Anything could. I, I'm gonna go with anything can happen in that group. I really can't understand it with the points being so close together, three points being so huge, right? Anything can happen. Um, also it's Blood Bowl so there you go um, well played both thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic